The windy conditions also made for a busy night for Ameren crews across the bi-state. Right now, thousands are without power across the metro. And Justin Andrews joins us now live in studio this morning to break down who's waking up in the dark. Hey, Justin. Hey, good morning, Marissa. We've been monitoring the outage <coughs> maps on Ameren's website. These numbers are updated every six minutes. We're monitoring both on Missouri and also the Illinois side. Right now, there are about 13,000 customers in Illinois without power. Here in Missouri, about 15,000. We know about 100 crews worked between last night and this morning. The first set clocked in around 11 last night and the second crew came in around five. So we're talking about two hours earlier than normal. So they're already in right now. Crews will be focused on the St. Louis Metro and Southeast Missouri. We talked to crews last night who tell us a new smart technology system will help in storms like this. We're investing a lot in, in the system for, to, for it to be resilient uh, to events like this. We've got the smart energy plan that uh, you know, it is, is meant to make the system more resilient to, to storm forces like, like we're going to see tonight. And we're, gonna, we're adding smart equipment that will allow the uh, lights to come back on more quickly if they do go out. And so, we're, you know, it's a year-round preparation. It's not just tonight that, uh, that we're preparing for this event. And as we know, power outages aren't the only concern with these high winds. They could be a problem for drivers. Mark Griffin is out on the roads in the storm old Silverado this morning. Hold that steering wheel. There are expected to be, by some estimates, about 55 million people hitting the roadway this afternoon. And sometimes it's going to seem like they're all on Interstate 270 here in South County. Right now I am at 270 and 44. And it is a both hands on the wheel kind of morning. Nasty weather across the country. And here we are facing high winds. You don't think high winds are a problem? Take a look at this video out of Nashville. You can see from the dash cam of this semi, it rocking back and forth in the wind. And eventually it is tipped over on its side. That is the reason that MoDOT has put up on its traffic boards the high wind advisory warning, issuing folks to give trucks plenty of room. We often tell folks, give those high profile high profile vehicles, lots of room to navigate. And those semis, those are the professional drivers. Today, we expect to see a lot of folks in RVs as well. Yeah. Give those guys a lot of room. And one other factor these high winds may have that you might not think about is reduced gas mileage. As you drive into the wind, you're gonna get fewer miles per gallon. So you may have an extra fill up during your holiday travel. Back yeah, to you guys in the studio. Yeah, Mark, you said it. I mean, we say that a lot. Be aware of those semis, but when you see it actually happen, the tip over like oh. that, it really puts it uh, in perspective and is eye-opening. All right, Mark, thank you.